Yo, what's good YouTube? It's your boy JR back with another banger. And in this video, I'm about to show y'all boys everything that you need to need to know regarding this mod and the mod pack. So yeah, I'm gonna get right into it. Make sure y'all boys drop a like, drop a sub, turn on post notifications, and yeah, man, I'm gonna show you guys everything that you need to know to get a lot of a VC using this mod. So first thing you guys wanna do is you guys need to get one of the stripe packs um you can get them online or amazon where the case may be this one this one that you're seeing right here is the one that i have there's another one for xbox that looks like this this one's a little bit cheaper and then there's also one for ps4 as well so you guys need to get one of those and then once you do that um you then need to go to the mod central website and you need to download the mod central program and then once you install that program, you can also go to this page right here, click on NBA 2K series, and then you'll be able to see all the mods and whenever you click on like NBA 2K22 generator, it'll tell you how to set it up. There's also one for next gen. I'll be making a video for the next gen version as well. And then you guys can go to like in-game setup and VC generator, and it'll just tell you how to activate everything. Now listen very carefully. This part right here where it says step two, this is wrong. I don't know why, but they put the wrong instructions right here. This does not activate your strike pack, but I will tell you guys how to properly activate it and set up your strike pack if you're getting a fresh new one. So yeah, man. So um, after you guys have done that, you wanna plug your strike pack to your computer. And then you, like I said, you wanna download this mod pass program. program. Once you guys do that, you wanna, like I said, plug up your mod pass to your PC and then you have to subscribe to Mod Central, and there'll be an option down here. And you have to subscribe to them. It's like ten dollars for a year, so it's not that expensive. Once you do that, you just, you just want to set up your Stripe Pack. So to do that, the very first thing that you guys want to do after you plug in your Stripe Pack to the PC is go to Tools, or I'm sorry, you guys want to go to Help, and then you guys want to go to Launch Firmware Updater. And then once you do that, this will basically just update your Mod Pack to the latest settings. You have to do that every single time there's a new update or whenever you get a brand new mod pack. So I reset mod just to show you guys this step. You guys can hit continue right here, begin update. It doesn't take that long at all. And then once it, once this is update complete, you guys can just close out the program and then you want to relaunch it. So once you've done that, once you've updated your mod pack, you're ready to get the mods on your pack to actually put on your mod pack. So do that. Click on this uh, right here. And then you'll see this screen right here. So under option one, what you can do is go down and then go to um, NBA 2K22 generator. And then you can also put the next gen version on here as well. Once you guys click on the one that you want, just go ahead and hit save. And then that will basically just put the mod on there for you. And like I said, if you're on next gen, just choose next gen. It's, it's simple, bro. And after that, just hit save slots to device. All right, so once it's saved, you'll get this screen right here and you're all set. So now you just wanna uh, plug the strike pack to your controller and then plug it up to your actual console. All right, so look, man, once you have plugged up your strike pack to your controller and then to your console, now you just wanna turn on your strike pack for the mod. So to do that, as you guys see, I have this strike pack right here. It has uh, two buttons on each side and then it has four buttons at the top. So what you want to do is you want to press the top right bottom button, which is right here. You guys see there's two buttons right here. You want to press this one. And then on the left hand side, you want to press the very top button that you're seeing right here. You want to press both of these at the same exact time. All right, so once you do that, you guys will see that your straight pack will start glowing. So once that happens, you guys can see it's on mod one and then if you if you wanted to, you can put more than one mod on your strike pack so if you want to do like the second slot for the vc generator for next gen to go to the second mod you just want to repress those same buttons again and the light will switch to the second one so yeah man and then after that on the mod pass actual um directions it is wrong it says to press turbo and then start that's not right to actually get the mod to start you have to hold left trigger and then press start and then once that happens, you'll feel a vibration on your controller. Now, once it does this, it will go ahead and um, start the blacktop games. Now, listen, I'm going to let this set overnight on a on this account, and you got, and I'll make an updated video, and you'll see how much VC I'm able to get. This does run the whole entire time, but listen very carefully to this next part. 
the way this mod is set up because 2k nerfed it to where you don't get as much vc for blacktop if you try to spam it so after this game is over with what will happen is it will get it will go to the main menu and it will load your player into the park then it will hover over the vc in the park it won't buy vc or anything like that and then it will load back into the menu it will sit there for a minute and then it will reload another blacktop game it's kind of slow i see why they done that though just to ensure you get the most vc possible so if you got if you see the mod stuck on the main menu for a little while just be patient it does work i've tested this out i've let it sit overnight the mod does work now sometimes it does get stuck i mean that's just how it is it was just like you know last year sometimes the mod would get stuck so if that happens you just gotta you know reset it but for the most part it does run you know for a very long time as long as you let it so the best way to do this mod is what you want to do is just let it sit overnight or so at least do eight hours and yeah man you'll be getting free vc super easy and super simple it's worth it your vc will stack up and all of that yeah man let me know if you guys have any questions i'll be dropping an updated one where i show you guys how much vc i get overnight i'll be doing a next gen version and we'll be doing all kinds of other banger glitch videos as well thank y'all boys so much for all support it's your been your boy glitch 2k and i'm out peace